testimony. Now I would like to call Leandro Pinheiro. Good afternoon. I'm Leandro Pinheiro, professor at the university, father of Luisa and Henrique, these wonderful kids, my kids, of course, they're wonderful. And, and I'm very engaged and work for the cause of sharing and the collaborative consumption. Whoever has kids as myself knows this from their homes. We have too many products. The children grow up, the toys and the clothes do not. And so we have an access of everything from toys to, to clothes that are too small, don't fit anymore. So we asked ourselves, how can we make this useful? How can we create a sharing system and uh, increase the possibility of this good being used? So we thought of this project. My um, wife and me, we already started it, just uh, rudimentarily. We created this profile and the Facebook, so we just posted there the things we had at home. Some friends said, oh, that's good, I want to place mine too. And then suddenly we reached a moment, we said, oh, this is doing well. We should, should extend this, amplify this. We should have a sort of a platform where everybody uh, could place their goods, their products they don't need anymore, so they could be reused. These are my parents. So the idea is a community to share, so you have a space for selling, donation, and exchange, a network for this cause. The idea is to have also a live store. We, we have it in a small version in Facebook, and there should be a tool uh, to, 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 to upload the photos because the moms and the dad don't know how to do it. So we pr want to promote also the education of the responsible uh, consuming and and this should be awareness building and it should be go in both ways. We want to make it available to as many people as possible. Thank you. Congratulations, Leandro, for, Le uh, for Luisa and Enrique. Sincerely, there is nothing to comment. You go ahead, do it. You're using a platform, you're not using it. You're making good use of things that are already there. You already tested it. You made it uh, on your own. It grew. That's what we had to suggest, but you already made it. Just to speed it up. You're already following uh, uh, the track that is of the experimentation. That's the good practice of uh, taking an idea from the paper. It's also good practice to get ideas from what we believe, things that we experience in the, uh, our day to day. So you're, you're showing a way uh, to the people here watching us that you got a problem that you live, that you had in your in your day to day and try to make that simpler using tools that are already there. So congratulations, you're giving us a good example how to get an idea into action. I don't have anything else to, to add. Congratulations on your project. Leandro, genius. Yes. Okay, nothing to add. What Rafael said is is true. To, to, to Jason Fried, he used to say, he said, 
is 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 scratch your own itching. So when you when you when you scratch your own wound, you do that because you'll do it well because it's something that is itching yourself. If you solve your own problems and then you share solutions to your own problems, then you will be able to solve problems in a cascading way. Congratulations. Afterwards, I'll get the address. Well, I have nothing to add. My suggestion is just to uh, you should think about ex uh, to expand this so that it can be managed to other, uh, include adolescents because my kids are 15 year old and uh, uh, there is a lot, lot, lots of stuff that can be traded online. So that, congratulations.